Murat, or Murat in Istanbul, Turkey. One of my favorite cities. I love Turkey. I love Istanbul. Dear Paul, I want to import my CD collection in WAV format and stream from a digital player. But even with licensed ripping programs, the sound is changing and quality is lost. I'm not converting or ripping. I am importing with the same bitrate and the same kilohertz as the source, but the CD sound is always better. Okay, so if I understand you correctly, when you import your CD and you put it onto a hard drive, it doesn't sound as good as when you play that CD on your system. So if that's the correct understanding, I think the problem does not lie in your ripping process. As long as you're ripping into WAV files and putting it onto your hard drive, they should be pretty close to identical with most ripping programs, especially something like EAC, which was one of my favorites. Bit of a pain to use, but I, I've ripped many of them just using my Apple computer system and rip away, and they're so close that it's, it's hard to imagine anybody would, would have a problem with that. The issue you have, I believe, is your playback from the internals of your computer. So this is just a guess, okay? So I know here, if we play from a computer or from a NAS or from any kind of hard drive, it's a completely different audio chain than when we play from, say, our transport through a CD. And the transport in our CD sounds significantly better than anything that we would stream either over from a server in the sky or our own server here, because theoretically the bits should be the same. You might want to check and make sure that you have a way to bypass your computer's internal audio engine. And Windows and Macs both have these, I mean, they're, they're, I say, I'm gonna say silly audio engines that upsample, downsample, convert, do whatever to homogenize all the audio coming in. If you'll notice when you play a 192 file, it comes out as 44.1, or you play a 44.1, it comes out as 192. Depends on where you have your sample rate set inside of the computer. And that's something that even if you have it set at 44.1 and you're playing 44.1, it's still going through this process, and that process doesn't sound good. There are a number of, of products on the, on the market that, um, oh, uh, will circumvent that audio engine inside of your computer. So I would just grab one of those programs and make sure that it is giving you the exact sample rate that you recorded it at or ripped it at as played back and no sample rate conversion at all. Okay? So that's what I would do. Give that a try and let us know. Thanks.